welcome again to this particular session and question number 1.4 is on the cards correct 505 company bangalore opened a branch now this is the word which you need to pay attention to reason being is that whenever it would be written opened a branch quite obviously there won't be any opening balances correct they opened a branch at hyderabad on 1st of january 2022 the following information is available with respect to the branch and these are the information good sent to branch good cash sales credit sales at the branch you know the treatment of credit sales now it will appear only in the daters account salaries of the branch office expenses of the branch obviously we are going to send cash for this further it is also written cash remittances to branch towards petty petty cash that mean head office has sent some petty cash to the branch to meet of course expenses of very very small of nature then petty expenses of the branch manager is given we send 6000 worth of cash six out of that 5500 is spent by branch manager so closing balance of petty cash will be 500 daters closing is 5000 stock at stock of uh, stock at the end actually it is 27000 closing stock at the end of the year is 27000 this is the question not a tough one you should be in a position to do this question of your own, isn't it? So, question number 1.4, I am going to pick up now. We are going to do lots of questions. So, once the conceptuality becomes clear, things become also very clear. So, prepare a branch account. Correct. And we will also prepare a dater's account. But dater's account is not prepared when opening and closing balances are not given. Correct? So, in such questions, we presume there are no credit transactions. But in this question, they have opened a branch. So, there will not be any opening balance. But closing balance of dater's is given. So, branch account in the books of head office. You must in the examination mention in the books of head office branch account then we'll prepare daters account correct daters account well then so question states that goods sent to branch i have already told you in this question there cannot be any opening balances correct i'm just writing this way opening balances in this question there cannot be any opening balances so goods sent to branch is given to you as 75000 so you will write here 75 then you have been given cash sales we know cash sales is part of remittances so remittances i will put towards the credit side remittances cash sales now cash sales we have been given as 60,000 so I will write here 60,000 then cash from daters so far it is not given cash from daters then we have been given credit sales we know credit sales appear only in the credit side credit sales credit sales oh. 60,000 it will appear towards the debit side of daters account sorry then salaries of the branch and office expenses of the branch for the same head office is going to send some cash you are going to write here to cash if you want to write in bracket you can write salaries amount is 15,000 then you can write two office expenses for office expenses, head office is sending a cash of 12,000. And then I am writing once again to cash. This cash is for petty expenses, remittances. Remittances means to send. This time head office is sending remittances for petty cash. So remittances towards petty cash. So head office has sent some petty cash to branch 6000. Very next item given to you is petty expenses. You know the treatment now. We will write here balance carry down. I will write here petty cash. 
in this question there is no question of opening balance of petty cash send head office has sent 6000 more so total available petty cash is 6000 less spent out of that branch manager has spent this much petty expenses 5500 so closing balance will be 500 so when I am writing 6000 towards the debit side and 500 towards the credit side, indirectly it means I am reflecting petty expenses only. Next item is closing balance of debtors. So debtors, closing balance of debtors given to you is 5000. Obviously it will also find place in the debtors account. Balance carried down 5000. Correct. Then we have been given closing balance of a stock. So closing balance of a stock. Closing balance of a stock is 27,000. Correct. So after finishing off all the information which is submitted to us, now we should tally. But before we tally, we need to make sure that all the information related to data is given. But in this question, there is no question of any what we call opening daters. Closing daters are there, but cash receipt from daters is not given. So cash receipt from daters is your missing figure. And you can find out that missing figure by tallying your daters account. So when you will tally your daters account, you will find here what cash receipt from daters. So cash from daters balancing figure will be 55,000, correct? This is how you are going to extract what we call this information. So this 55,000 will come in the branch account also. Now you are in a position to tell you what we call your this account. Your net profit will be equal to net profit will be equal to 29,500. You can tell it off your own. Because as you know, I have done so many times. So quite obviously, answers are memorized not a tough one no doubt about that then we pick up 1.5 1.5 is actually question starts from the next sheet from the following details prepare a branch account in the books of head office goods sent to branch at cost goods returned by branch this is the first question where we are facing goods returned so often what happened? Head office sends goods to branch and suddenly branch finds that these goods have reached the destination in such a mutilated condition, in such a bad condition that branch will not be able to sell them at a price which is expected of them. So it is better to return the goods. So sometime it may happen. Branch credit sales, cash sales, cash remitted to head office by the branch is given to you. Cash remitted, total cash remittances is given already. Expenses paid by the head office is 10,000. Discount allowed to customer 1,800. Closing stock with the branch at cost is 17 and closing data 7,700. This is the question which is given to you. 1.5 is the question. So 1.5 now we pick up question number 1.5. So in order to do question number 1.5, I frame the branch account. This is branch account, correct? And then I prepare data's account. This is data's account. Branch account in the books of head office and data's account. See here, it is given that, where is the question, just wait. First information is goods sent to branch at cost. So goods have been sent to branch at cost. Goods sent to branch. So goods costing rupees 50,000 have been sent. We will write it this way. Goods returned by the branch. See. Here I want to make you understand one important aspect. When we send the goods, our entry is branch account debit to goods sent to branch account. 
correct? Because we are sending the goods, we are getting imparted. So this is the entry. And when goods are returned by branch to head office, goods returned means goods returned by branch to head office. So our entry will be reversed. We will not write this way, goods returned. We will simply write goods sent to branch, to branch account. We will reverse the entry. The entry remains same, but in a reversal manner. First we write branch account debit to goods sent to branch and then we write goods sent to branch account debit to branch account. This is the entry for returns, correct? Obviously, the goods which have been returned will be put towards the opposite side, correct? Why we are putting it opposite side? Because we sent this much of goods and out of that some goods have been returned to us, correct? Because ultimate target I have already told you is to show how much goods have been received by branch. So out of 50,000 they have returned, I will put it towards the credit side by goods return. So I will again write by goods sent to branch. In bracket I can write returns because name of the accounts will remain goods sent to branch account. Is it clear to you? So goods returned by branch. So 3000 worth of goods have been returned. Then branch credit sales. We know that credit sales always finds place in debtors account only. So credit sales is given to you 51,000. And then cash sales is given to you. You know cash sales is part of remittances. By remittances. Cash sales. Now cash sales here in this question is 2,500. 2500 is your credit sales. Then we have been given cash remitted to the head office by branch is 45,000. Try to understand this point very, very carefully. It is given, in fact, I will write it here. Okay. We know that remittances encompasses two items. Correct? Remittances encompasses two items. Cash sales and cash from debtors. And cash from debtors. You have already been given in this question how much cash has been remitted by branch to head office. That is 45,000. It is given to you. 45,000 is given to you. And we know that remittances encompasses two segments, cash sales and cash from debtors. And you are being given that cash sales is 2,500. Now out of 45,000, if cash sales is 2,500, cash received from debtors must be 42,500, isn't it or not? That means we, we already have this figure, we have found out now this figure. So cash receipt from debtors is 42,500. We will write it over here. Cash from debtors. You can write in bracket also out of 45,000 of remittances, 2,500 is your cash sales. So quite obviously 42,500 will be your cash receipt from debtors. So that means you have already shown now 45,000. And cash receipt from debtors will also find place in the debtors account. So cash from debtors is 42,500. Is it clear to you or not? Don't write remittances again because when you have written over here cash sales and cash from debtors, that means total remittances of 45,000 is already written. So this is the point in this question. Then we have been given expenses paid by head office. I told you earlier also, whenever it would be given this way that expenses have been paid by head office, indirectly it means head office sent the cash to the head branch and branch paid the expenses. To cash, expenses, expenses means branch expenses. So we sent 10,000 worth of cash. Then we have been given discount allowed to customer. Now this is the line, correct, which shows whether you have paid attention or not, because I'm going to ask you where it will come. This is the transaction between branch and branch debtors. So it will find place only over here. 
discount 1800 then we have been given closing stock with branch at cost balance carried down closing stock now closing stock is 17000 then we have been given closing balance of daters closing daters is given 7700 7700 closing daters will also be written over here closing balance 7700 correct before we tell you this account we have to make sure whether we have got closing daters cash receipt from daters and opening daters in this question opening daters haven't been given to you so you will have to find opening daters for that you will have to tally this account when you will tally this account the total is 62 minus in fact 52 minus 51,000 so that comes to 1000 correct so 1000 will be your balancing figure opening daters so opening balance of daters you have extracted now it happens to be 1000 is it clear to you or not yes sir so once you have found out opening daters then you should be in a position just let me write here opening balance daters 1000 however in this question opening balance of stock is not given if opening balance of stock is not given don't waste your time in tracing it down we always presume when opening stock is not given there was no opening stock in the beginning correct now you are in a position to tell you this account let me tell you it mm. where is the calculator calculator is lying towards my right left hand side 2500 plus 42500 plus 3000 plus 17000 plus 7700 minus 51 plus 1061000 11700 correct 11700 that is the reason actually why i checked it 11700 please write it over here is the answer net profit once you have found out net profit of this particular question now we are in a position to move over to the next question that is sixth one please pay attention towards the sixth question sixth question says seven limited with its head office at calcutta correct has a branch at delhi and you are required and you are given the following particulars relating to the branch for the year ended 30th of june 2002 opening stock is given goods sent to branch is given total sales at branch in bracket he has written including 19700 that means total sales are 73300 and by subtracting 19700 from 73300 we will get the credit sales which we will write in the daters account cash receipt from daters is given branch daters opening balance is given goods returned by branch is given we just saw that goods sent to branch returns will be put towards the credit side petty cash in the beginning is 110 cash sent to branch for salary for rent and for petty cash and closing stock is given and this time petty cash closing balance is given correct so this is 1.6 now we are going to pick up 1.6 Question number 1.6. In order to do 1.6, let me frame the formats first. Work should be neat, tidy, spick and span. Make a habit of doing work in a neat manner and carry this habit to examinations. Branch account. 
and then I have written here debtor's account. Correct? Branch, and then I will write here debtors. Now we move over to the question. The first information is stock with the branch and on 1st of July 2022. So I write here opening balances. Opening balances brought down. That is stock which is given to you as 15,700. 15,700. Then you have been given goods sent to branch. During the year 45,600 goods sent to branch account. 45,600. Further, you have been given total sales at the branch. So, total sales is given to us. Remittances. Then I write cash sales. Cash sales is given to me as. 19,700 19,700 and credit sales I will put towards the debit side of the debtors account credit sales total sales is equal to 73,300 out of that 19,700 is cash sales so credit sales must be equal to 73,300 minus 19,700 that is 53,600. So you are going to write 53,600 in your debtors account. Is it clear to you or not? Then we have been given in this question uh, that is uh, question number 6. Cash receipt from daters 52,200. Cash receipt from daters you first write here, over here. Cash receipt from daters. Cash receipt from daters. You can simply write by cash also because this is daters account. We need not require to write in full. So, cash receipt from daters happens to be 52,200. After having posted this item towards the credit side, we write it over here under the remittances cash receipt from daters or simply cash from daters cash from daters 52200 then we have branch daters on 1st of july this is the opening balance daters opening balance of daters given to you as 16900 16,900. Opening balance of daters must be written over here. 16,900. Once you have written the balance, then you write next item. Uh, goods returned by branch. Now goods returned by branch. That means whatever goods have been sent out of that, some goods have been returned. You will put it towards the opposite side in the branch account you can write in bracket returns name of the account will remain good sent to branch account correct and the amount of return which is given to you is 3900 now we have been given petty cash at branch in the beginning so this is the balance of petty cash 110 110 then it is given to us cash sent head office has sent cash for salary that is 12,800 we have sent cash for rent that is 3,000 and we have sent further petty cash petty cash Additional petty cash we sent 2600. Correct. Now given to us closing balances. So closing balances. Closing balances which is given to you. One is stock. 
amount of stock is 18,800. Then you have been given a balance of petty cash. See here. We had opening balance of 110 plus head office sent 2600 worth of petty cash. Correct? So total petty cash available with the branch manager is 2710. Out of that, he must have spent something that is known as petty expenses. How much he has spent, it is not given this time. Rather, you have been given closing balance already. It is given in the question that closing balance is just about 90. If I subtract from 271090, 2710 minus 90, I will get 2620. This 2620 represents the amount spent by branch manager out of petty cash, correct? Although we need not require this figure to be very honest with you because ultimately in the outer column I have to write the closing balance. We have already already written opening balance here 2600 here 90 here the difference itself is equal to branch petty expenses 2620. So this is how you will have to do this question but before we tell it any further information no further question number six no further information. So now we should tell it, but before we start telling it, we have to make sure time and again I have been telling whether we have got opening data, yes, whether we have got cash receipt from data, yes, whether we have got closing balance of data, no. So this will become my balancing figure of data account. So now I will tell you my data account and try to find out what is my closing balance. 16,900 plus 53,600 minus 52,200. Correct? So, what is cash receipt from daters in this particular question? In this particular question, cash receipt from daters is 52,200. Okay, now I get 18,300. So, 18,300 becomes your closing balance. This is balance carried down. So whatever figure is not there in the branch account related to daters, that figure will become balancing figure in the daters account. 18,300. Correct? So 18,300. Now you can write this figure over here. 18,300. And now you will have to tally this particular account to get your what we call final answer. 18,300 plus 90 plus 18,800 plus 3,900 plus 52,200 plus 19,700 minus 15,700 minus 16,900 minus 110 minus 45,600 minus 12,800 3,000 2,600. 16,280. What is the figure? 16,280 is the correct answer. So, 16,280 is your net profit. 16,280 is your net profit. Correct? So, I hope now slowly and steadily your confidence is developing to face this particular chapter. Correct. So after having finished up question number six, we shall move over to now the next one. What does the next one state? Let's see. Next one states, this is one a fine morning trading firm has a retail branch which is supplied goods from the head office. So to this branch, goods are supplied by the head office and and which means head office gives its own sales ledger and remits all cash received daily to the head office. Okay, these are the normal lines. The branch expenses were being paid by the head office by check 
from the following particulars drop the branch account as if they would appear in the books of the head office for six months ending 31st December 2020. So six monthly data is given to us. It is not a big issue whether six monthly quarterly, correct? Six monthly credit sales 2485, cash sales is given to you, return inwards. This is something you have to take care of because two types of returns will be there in the question. One is whenever it is written, goods returned by branch. That means whatever goods have been sent to branch, out of those, some goods have been returned by branch. And goods returned by branch always means goods returned by branch to head office. And that will always appear towards the credit side of the branch account. And you will write goods sent to branch in bracket, you can put returns. But here it is written return inwards. Return inwards means sales return. And sales return means goods returned by customers or daters to the branch. Goods returned by daters to the branch. So sales return will find place only in daters account. Correct? Cash received on ledger accounts. Cash received on ledger account always means always means cash received from daters. It means cash received from daters. Daters on 1-7-2020, this is the opening balance of data. This is opening balance stock on 1-7-2020 is 840. In your notes, it is corrected, don't worry. And stock on 31st of 12-2020, which is closing balance, is 1280. Goods received from head office is 65. This time you have been given goods received from head office. In spite of that, you will write goods sent to branch and we and we shall presume that all these goods have been received by the branch. There is, it means actually uh, no goods are in transit. Goods received from head office 65. Bad debts at the branch. The bad debts at the branch. What does it mean? It will find place in the data's account. For wages and rent, you will have to send the cash. Correct? So this is the question. 1.7, which you should be in a position to do now, of your own. Question number 1.7. In 1.7, I write, first of all, this is your branch account. And then I write branch daters account. Correct. Branch daters account or simply daters account, whatever it is. First information is six monthly credit sales so credit sales it appears in daters account only correct so in the daters account you are going to write here two credit sales amount of credit sales is 2485 2485 besides that we have been given cash sales cash sales is equal to actually 1460 that is part of remittances cash sales amount of cash sales is 1460 then we have been given return inwards time and again i am telling you return inwards is different from goods returned by branch to head office goods it is sales return return inwards means sales return and sales returns will find place in data's account return inwards this is a transaction between branch and daters. Return inwards is just 30. Then we have been given cash received on ledger accounts. Cash received on ledger accounts means cash received from daters. Cash received on ledger accounts. That is daters. 
So cash receipt from debtors in this case is 2387. Very clumsy figures are given 2387. <clears throat> and cash receipt from debtors will also find place in debtors account. Two three eight seven. Then we have daters in the beginning, opening balances. Daters. Opening balance of daters is one three four five. Now, opening balance of daters will also be written in the daters account. Opening balance brought down 1345. Then we have stock, opening balance of stock 840. Then closing stock we have been given. Closing balance. Stock. 840. Then we have been given in this case goods received from head office. Goods received from head office. You will write here goods sent to branch account is still. It means goods received goods received from head office is 2276 correct then we have been given bad debts at the branch bad debts are written in the debtors account only bad debts Bad debts are 65. Now for wages and rent, obviously head office is going to send cash. Wages 415. And then you have rent 402. Now in this question, opening debtors are given cash. Receipt from daters is given, but closing balance of daters is not given. So closing balance of daters will be your missing figure, which you will trace out or extract out from your daters account. 1345 plus 2485 minus 2387 minus 30 minus 65. So 1348 is your closing balance of daters. 1348. Balance carried down. Correct. And you are going to write this figure over here 134. 1348. And now you should be in a position to find out the net profit. Correct. Which is 11. 97 correct so this is how this particular question will be done so after wrapping up this particular question we pick up question number 8 also in this question, it is written, Messrs. V N Company has a small branch at Tumbuktu, very interesting name. Tumbuktu is a very small place in, I have forgotten the name of the country, in fact, uh, somewhere in South Africa. But anyway, a small branch at Tumbuktu and you are required to prepare Tumbuktu branch account in the books of the head office for calculating profit made at the said branch. Correct? We are supposed to prepare a branch account. So we have to follow data system because it is written we have to prepare branch account. Whenever it is written that prepare branch account, we have to follow what we call data system. The stock in the beginning is given. Furniture in the beginning is given. Goods sent to branch at cost 
कैश सेल्स फर्नीचर परचेज बाय द ब्रांच ऑन परमिशन फ्रॉम हेड ऑफिस करेक्ट स्टॉक एट द एंड एक्सपेंसेस पेड बाय हेड ऑफिस एंड फर्दर इट इज रिटर्न इट वाज रिक्वायर्ड टू राइट ऑफ फर्नीचर एट टेन परसेंट पर एन एम हाउ एवर नो डेप्रिशिएशन इज नेसेसरी फॉर परचेजेस मेड ड्यूरिंग द ईयर now this is the important line and this is the only area where i need to discuss correct so for that i need a rough sheet let me see whether any rough sheet is lying here or not well i will use this so in this question first of all you need to take care of furniture furniture in the beginning first of all i will write along with opening balances furniture in the beginning 2000 remember one thing under data system no real accounts are prepared correct then it is given furniture purchased by the branch on permission from head office see when we are going to write here remittances we know that under the remittances we write cash sales cash from debtors correct cash from debtors and this much of cash whatever we have collected we sent it back to we send it back to head office remittances means total cash collected by branch it generally it is from cash sales and generally it is from cash from debtors now head office is located here branch is located here let us say branch manager is sitting on a chair correct branch manager is sitting on a chair and he is a very fatty fellow fatty fellow when he sits on the chair chair gets broken now because the chair gets broken logically it is the duty of the head office to send cash to buy a new chair logically it is a duty but branch manager obviously it will not look nice on part of the branch that branch manager because the chair has already broken so they should wait for the money to come and then they are going to buy the chair it is not possible so what branch manager did he gave a ring to the head office and during the telephonic conversation let us say branch manager tells to the head office this has happened and i need a chair i need a furniture so what head office will tell head office will tell okay you do one thing you buy this chair or furniture we are permitting you to buy whatever amount you will spend you subtract it from the remittances you got my point or not this is exactly the situation here if branch will buy any furniture from the permission of the head office it means the here the branch is spending but logically this expense should have been met by the head office so what head office will do they will ask the branch manager whatever you have spent whatever you have spent on the purchase of furniture you simply subtract it from the total remittances so indirectly it means you send at less and keep that amount with you which you have spent so that is the reason furniture which i have purchased on permission from head office i will subtract this amount first of all from the remittances are you getting my point or not so this is one point and second point is that when later on i will write the closing balance of the furniture opening balance is 2000 no doubt about that and we have purchased a new furniture with the from the permission of the head office worth rupees furniture worth rupees is 1200 so obviously now the closing balance of furniture will be 3200 and we have to provide depreciation on it it is written later on it was required to write off furniture at 10% per annum if this line would have been till up to this point only i would have given a depreciation of 320 but it is written no depreciation is necessary for purchases made during the year since it is given clearly that no depreciation is required on purchases made during the year i will give the depreciation on opening balance only so opening balance is 2010% depreciation 200 so closing balance is 3000 now similar to petty cash 
I have written opening balance 2000 here and closing balance 3000 here. Correct? Are you getting my point or not? And we have purchased 1200 worth of furniture this year. So logically furniture is 3200, it is appearing at 3000. So that means we are reflecting 200 worth of what we call furniture, depreciation on furniture. Even the depreciation is being reflected indirectly. We cannot write directly depreciation over here. Because I have already told you the limitations of this accounting system, we are not preparing any real account separately. So uh, if I will write depreciation, the question is where from, from which account the posting is being done. So that is the reason we have to show the depreciation this way, correct, indirectly. So in this question, this was the point which I wanted to discuss with you. So now we can, now we can do this question, question number 1.8. Now in this question, first of all, let me stress the formats first. This is branch account. And even in this question, opening and closing balance of daters are not given, so I need not require to prepare daters account. Got it? Even in this question, opening and closing balance of daters is not given. So I will write here branch account. Opening stock is given to you, so opening balance you will write opening balance of stock is given to you as 4000. You will write here 4000. Then furniture in the beginning is given. Furniture in the beginning given to you as 2000. Then you have sent goods costing, goods sent to branch. 60,000 worth of goods you have sent. Then you have been given cash sales made by the branch, remittances, cash sales, amount of cash sales is 90,000. Obviously in this question there will not be any cash from daters because no credit transaction is there. So cash from daters will be nil. So logically branch was supposed to send 90,000. Correct? Logically branch must have sent 90,000 to the head office. Logically. But what is given in this case? Furniture purchased by the branch on permission from head office. If branch will purchase any asset, not only furniture, any asset from the permission of the head office, it means that amount will be subtracted by the branch from the remittances. So indirectly it means actually head office is bearing this expense. So purchase of furniture, purchase of furniture on permission from head office. on permission from head office 1200 will be subtracted in the outer column you will write 88800 so this much of amount now the branch will send to the what we call head office then we have a stock at the end so we will write closing balance The stock amount is given to you as 3500. Then expenses paid by head office is given to cash. Expenses 3500. Expenses paid by head office is 5300. I will have to erase out this item.
correct? Two cash expenses. Actually, it is five thousand three hundred, which I will write here. Then we have been written. It was required to write off furniture, so I will write the closing balance of furniture this way round. Opening balance two thousand plus purchases during the year. One thousand two hundred worth of furniture has been purchased by branch, so one thousand two hundred. So three thousand two hundred. Now we have to provide depreciation, but it is clearly mentioned that dep no depreciation on purchases. So depreciation will be given only on opening balance of two thousand. So two hundred worth of depreciation you will provide, and closing balance you will write. Correct. So depreciation is reflected in an indirect manner. So now we are in a position to tell you this. Correct. You should be. So your net profit when you will tell you it will be equal to net profit. Is equal to twenty four thousand. Twenty four thousand. This is your net profit. Is it clear to you or not? So this was question number one point eight. Now have a look over question number one point nine. Now what does question number one point nine states? From the following particulars, prepare branch account showing the profit or loss. Opening stock is thirty thousand. Well, one point nine is the question wherein we have to find out net profit of the branch. Correct. Even in this question, we will see no debtors and creditors are given, and that is the reason actually. Uh, no debtors account will be prepared. So opening stock at branch is thirty thousand. This is my branch account. This is my branch account. So in the branch account, first let me write here. Opening stock thirty thousand. So opening balance. Of stock, of course. Opening balance of stock is thirty thousand, which you are going to write. Then you have been given goods sent to branch ninety thousand. You will write here goods sent to branch ninety thousand. Then you have been given sales cash here. Clearly mentioned, all the sales are in cash. So I will write here remittances. Under remittances, only cash sales will appear because there are no credit transaction. Cash sales one lakh twenty thousand is given to you, and just to remind you that there are. And there cannot be any cash from debtors. In this question, there cannot be any cash receipt from debtors. Correct. In the examination, you need not require to write like this. You can simply put up cash sales, expenses, salary, and other expenses. Two cash, salaries. Salaries is equal to ten thousand, and then other expenses, and other expenses is equal to four thousand. Correct. Now the question states that in this question it is stated that closing stock could not be found out, but it is known that. Branch usually sells at cost plus twenty percent. The branch manager is entitled to a commission of five percent on the 
profit of the branch before charging is commission. This time calculation of commission is easy because we did one question earlier wherein it was commission after charging is commission but this time it is simple but here the problem is that we have to find out the closing stock correct so because without finding the closing stock we cannot find out the profit balance carried down so we have to find out closing stock how to find the closing stock it is given to you here that your branch branch usually sells the goods at cost plus 20 percent what does it mean it means if you are sending the goods and their cost price is 100 if you are sending the goods and their cost price is 100 then branch sells it at a margin or profit of 20 branch will sell at it at it a profit of 20 it means branch will sell these goods for selling price for 120 if i will divide 20 by 120 i will call it rate of profit on sales and we will discuss that when we discuss at length when we'll pick up topic of invoicing that is after one more question correct so it is called rate of profit on sales that means if sale is for rupees 6 out of that 1 rupees profit that is what we mean by that we can also compute rate of profit on cost i will keep the margin in the numerator in the denominator now i am keeping the cost it is known as rate of profit on cost and it is 1 by 5 what does it mean it means if your cost is 5 you are selling it at a profit of 1 that means your selling price is 6 it is as simple as that now after finding the rates what you can do now you know your sales is equal to 1 lakh 20 thousand correct your sales is 1 lakh 20 thousand the sale by branch is equal to rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand this is selling price if i subtract the profit from here less profit margin i will have to use the rate 1 by 6 because this is sale price i will have to use rate of profit on sale i just told you a moment ago that 6 stands for selling price and 1 stands for profit if selling price is 6 1 is profit if 1 lakh 20 thousand is sell what is the profit that is 1 lakh 20 thousand into 1 by 6 that is why i am saying that if you are going to apply 1 by 6 you can easily find out the amount of profit so that means when i say branch is selling the goods for 1 lakh 20 thousand it means out of this 20 thousand is profit and cost of the sale is 1 lakh this is cost of the sales cost of sale cost of goods sold you call it this is the cost of the goods sold cost of the goods sold is it clear to you or not this is cost of the goods sold is it clear to you now once you know the cost of the goods sold now you can find out see here determination of closing stock okay i will determine okay i will determine in the next sheet determination of closing stock now i can find closing stock presume yourself as the branch manager you had in the beginning opening stock you had in the beginning stock at cost it is written clearly sorry opening stock at cost 30,000 that means you had 30,000 worth of stock in the beginning correct and head office supplied you goods goods sent to branch head office gave you 90,000 more goods or supplied you 90,000 worth of goods more so all in all you had 1 lakh 20000 worth of goods for sale 
this is the cost price of the goods which was available with you. Now, out of these goods, cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold means you had this you had 1,20,000 worth of goods for sale, total goods available. Out of this, you have sold, cost of goods sold means, out of these goods, you have sold 1 lakh worth of goods. That's a different matter that 1 lakh worth of goods have been sold out by you at 1 lakh 20. That's a different matter. But what does it show that you had this much of goods at cost price 1 lakh 20 out of that 1 lakh worth of costing goods you have sold out so 20,000 is your closing stock so 20,000 worth of stock is, is still remaining this is how we have to find out closing stock in this question so once we have found out closing stock now we have to find out branch manager's commission. For the same, what I will have to do? 1,40,000. From 1,40,000, I will subtract uh, 120 and 14. So 6,000 is my profit at this particular moment. This is my net profit at this moment, correct? Net profit in this question 1.9. How much is it? 6,000? Yes, it is. This is net profit, but but this is net profit before commission and in this question we have to find out branch managers commission of this profit that is why i told you this time calculation of commission is easy where is question number nine here it is branch manager is entitled to a commission of five percent on the profits of the branch before charging his commission so before charging net profit is 6000 so now i can easily give branch managers commission so branch managers commission will be 5% of 6000 that is 5% of 6000 that will be equal to 300 so now we can say that after charging his commission net profit is 5700 this is net profit after commission net profit carried down is it clear to you or not so this is how we are supposed to do this question we will continue with many more in the upcoming session correct so till then it's not only goodbye, it's time to say good night because it is almost since last five hours I have been taking continuously these many sessions, correct? So I'm tired too. So shall meet you in the next class.